What's up, everybody? Today we're playing Acolyte of the Altar. Acolyte of the Altar. This is a roguelike deck building game that's kind of based on like the fighting style of uh, Shadow of the Colossus, and I thought that sounded neat. So I like it. We're gonna just try it out. We're going to do a blind as we always do. We're just gonna click new game and see what happens. Alrighty. All right. So we're fighting a squawking bird. Uh, hey, over here. You're an acolyte, right? I'm a beast. That means we fight. I wonder why. <laughs> uh, ah, you look positively flimsy. Let me give you some tips so you don't embarrass yourself. I don't remember these conversations happening in Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, look at that. You brought a cute little guy with you. Why don't you right-click him to check out or check him out? He's a tiny disciple. When you loot a new card, Tiny Disciple is sadly replaced from your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Uh, looks like he's a creature. See, he's got a yellow attack gem. That's how much damage he does when he attacks. I'm guessing the red gem is how much health he has. <sighs> you guessed Before correctly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, blue gem appears as mana cost. All cards cost mana to play. And that makes sense for all things. All these types of games. Uh, you can see your mana pool here. It holds all of your delicious mana. Well, we have a, co a two-cost creature. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I was about to say, we had a one-out-of-one mana pool. Look, uh, they're playing fast and loose for the tutorial. That makes sense. Uh, here, I have some extra mana I stole from the last Acolyte. Use it to play your mana pool koi next. Uh, play. Spend all remaining mana to gain plus one, plus one for each mana spent. Stops eating once a 5-5. Five, five. Ah, shoot, he ate all your mana. Most cards have special effects, so be sure to read them before playing them. Uh, notice creatures summoned closest to your face. Well, you're out of mana, so let's see what you got. Smack me hard. Oh, my. Drag your creatures into the attack row, and then click the big button to attack. Uh, ah, your creatures are sick with summoning sickness and can't attack. That means you'll have to end your turn. Let me go next. Oh god, my gaze has been pierced. Oh, and he's unlocked a powerful slash. My piercing gaze messed mm. you up good. Did you see your life plummet from my special ability? I ain't plummet. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it hurt a little bit. Okay, for real this time, pick up your creatures and drag them. Your mouse can carry multiple creatures at once. <laughs> wow. Useful. Now click the big button to attack. Ouch! <laughs> this turns go by, a beast's rage increases. This unlocks our latent power via new abilities. Then your turn again so I can show you my real power. He does have a powerful slash. Ah, the gaze! Oh! Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, friend, but you're already dead. <laughs> powerful <laughs> slash destroyed your creature. Take that, Acolyte. Most abilities strike from left to right. Like reading a book, okay? Well, that's all the advice I have. We can stop fighting now, right? Right? <laughs> uh, do I have to attack first? Uh, it won't even let me play the card that's unnecessary to play. You probably could have hit end turn and not attacked. Ah. <laughs> hey, hey, what? Oh, well, that was a friendly creature teaching me how to fight it. <laughs> uh, undertake a greater challenge. Greater patron and lesser patron. Uh, I assume we either slip, click on, yeah. Uh, start with a 1-1 one, one vent crawler. With armies of vents obtained by mountainous champions, ravagers take down beasts before they can react. Uh, heal three life after each combat. Stall for time. Doing other things. Locked in demo. Come back later. Uh, the greater patron. Start with a 1-1 one, one vent crawler. Heal by three. So, I take it greater just is the same stuff, but harder? Maybe. Um, so, do you want to heal for three, or do you want to have a vent crawler? It's the vent crawler. Alright, I'll, I'll try this. 
Uh, okay. Do we have to? Do we have to pick a greater and a lesser? Uh, looks like it. So I'll 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 get a bunch of vent crawlers then. Why the heck not? Uh, start combat at two mana, or creatures played while you have seven or more max mana summon a one one on death. I think I like starting with extra mana. Getting get going with early. extra mana is probably the correct choice. And although then, I'd like the idea that we just could theoretically lean into it as a hard. We have a ton of one ones. Yeah. Sort of thing. But if we only get like an extra mana every turn, if we need seven or more max mana, that could take a while. That's true. Uh, also, I don't know that's what it. these numbers indicate. The seven and the two. That's like a rarity. If that's a. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, that's a, a spiritual uh, burden, whatever that means. Mother uh, of kid. Ah, that makes sense. We got a mud crab. We we do have a mud crab. Uh, charge, which I assume just means it doesn't have summoning sickness. So a one one with haste. Uh, crumbling gargoyle. End of turn. Lose one attack. Uh, Overlord gives attackers plus one attack this round. So they don't want to attack. They just want to hang out. And then the mana pool coys, which we've seen. Uh, also, that is a forbidden card. Forbidden cards cost one extra mana. Your primary patron gives you one each combat at start. Okay. So but we do have yeah. two. We do have two mana. So yeah. So I, I think we we play him. And then we poke him for one because we can. Yeah. And then we end turn. And this guy goes down to a 4-1, which is a little unfortunate. Oh, we got That's a, okay. We got a tiny disciple. Because now we can attack with both. And if we summon... The, oh, he's got because he's got a uh, bite. Oh, okay. Okay. And if we bring out the yeah. Lava yeah. Moth, then both of those will get an extra attack when they attack. So it doesn't look like we can reposition these. They just no. They're someone close to your face. Yeah. So this crab is gonna die. There's just nothing Crab's I can gonna do die. about it. But correct. But alas, we can. That should be seven damage. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Because attackers plus one attack this round. Yeah, and he went back up to a five because he was a four. Now he's down to a three. All right, another tiny disciple. I think if I wait one more turn, these fish will be very big, so I can just do correct two just tinies. Just bring out the two two tinies. Now again, they'll summon to the right anyway. And then we don't attack with the overlord. Uh, it doesn't yeah. matter so much because it's yeah. One in this case, it's a, yeah. Either him, he will do plus one damage, or he will swing for one damage. Like it's the same either way. Uh, right, and then he's gonna get bitten, eh, eh, bitten, killed, and then Ram is gonna unlock. Let's see, Ram, Ram's the leftmost creature into its neighbor, damaging each by the other's attack. Ooh, Ooh. that's unpleasant. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna koi fish, but if I get another Smith out, then these guys can attack for four each. Uh, that is, that is true. Or, alternatively, I do the koi fish now. This guy won't die. And the next turn, I smith, and then all three will get the benefit, and I can koi fish. And I can even koi fish. Uh, on the one hand, yes, but on the other hand, the... the... He's also he's gonna get rammed and then bit, so the, your your one overlord is gonna be dead this yeah, turn. Yeah, this overlord's super dead. I'm just thinking about this guy. He'll be alive. No, I know. I just meant if you're if you're waiting to bring the lava, let's like it's one of those things where it's like you're gonna gain one lava smith and lose the other smith. Well, it, it's a, it's a matter of do I play the smith now or do I play the koi fish now? Because I, okay, I can play I can play the koi fish at maximum power now. That's and true. And then next turn I lava smith, so then all three of them get. That's true. While I attack. Go for it. So I'll do something like that for now. And this guy will die even harder than he was previously, but alas. Now 
both of your tinies are gonna die. Oh no, wait. Does Ram? No, because the bite will go first. Yeah, and kill him, and then. Okay. So I'm cu I'm curious how the Ram's gonna fight then. You might still lose both, both tinies. I don't think I will. You know why? Because I think this guy is dead. Is just dead. That's true. And swing for twelve. Beautiful. Take that, mother of kid. <laughs> All right. That Leviathan is glowing. It, it is glowing. It's an 8-8 eight, eight for 4, dominate 4. Uh, cards with dominate randomly kill your own creatures before entering play. Ah, I say. What if we got a, a bunch of, you know, small critters? Um, He's got charge, that, which means well, he can attack immediately. You say uh, a bunch of small creatures... Is it, it will kill up to four things if they exist, or it has to kill four things to come out? That's a good question. Um, let's see. But, because if we have nothing and we put them out, it's, or, you know, just, just um, less than four. 8-8 eight, eight hmm. charge. Grant twice as much attack and, uh, and health as creatures you summoned this game. <sighs> that thing is nutty. And rally. He's got double strike. Oh, so yeah, he's 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 super he's nuts. Insane. So yeah, we just but take he, that. I was gonna say, but he costs four, so we're not getting him out early. Yeah, but, we're harvested. but we start with oh, also, two. Also, we we traded him for a tiny disciple. Yes, the, 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 the tiny disciples are not long for this world. Um. Uh, all right. So then we just kind of poke for one and, and do our thing. Uh, it looks like spin, measure, and cut are all going to open in one, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Spin. The work of the fate's hands. The work of the fate's hands. Uh, Kill all uh, our... Yeah. Summon length of thread until your board is full. Kill all length of thread. Each one killed increases the measures counter by one. And then cut. Deal one for every three tokens on measure. Overkill one. Huh. Okay. So he's just going to do his own thing, and I'm just going to attack as hard as I can, I think. That's the idea, I think. Okay, so he's going to spin, yeah. create, yeah, fill your board with thread things measure he's gonna yeah. kill all the thread things yeah. and then cut does damage with rollover okay so we actually want to try to fill our board as hard as we can against this guy so there's not that much in the way of things for him to add to our I was like our I can board. I can play a sad mana pool koi like or we can just take the hit and yeah I I think for now this is fine. Um, he's usually not long for this world anyway. And then next turn we'll put out some big fish. Give us three. He'll cut three more. And that's gonna have start having a scary amount of overflow already. Just want the big fish? Yeah, just a big fish. Okay. I think it's going to set us up. We're only taking like one damage a turn. No. Are we not? No, because oh. he he does a number oh. of damage equal to the cut counter, and that and anything that overflows goes to us. So he's going to give us four more four more little zero ones. Yeah. He's going to kill them, bringing the measure counter up to... Uh, I'm sorry, three more. I can't count. Oh. I'm going to bring that up to 12, which is bring cut up to four, so he's going to do two to him and then three yeah. to... Uh, yeah, and then we took two damage. Two and two. Fine. Yeah. That's fine. I think it's fine, but... And look, we can do an impling and another big fish. And that's two things, and still maximum size fish. And then next turn he dies. So it's a okay. Okay. Right. Like one overflow. 
and swarm them. Summon two cannon fodder. Yeah, we can summon two cannon fodder and a tiny disciple. Oh, and they went that oh, side. Oh, and they go to the left. Oh. That's helpful. He should go to the right. And then just flank. And then he's flank, already dead flank. anyway. Oh, and the cannon fodders have uh, charge. I have... Oh, I that's have what front line is. They go to the front. Okay. Okay. All right. And then he's super dead. Uh, I like that. I like that card. I like swarming them. Can have another smith or another gargoyle or a cathedral conservator. Start of turn, summon a crumbling gargoyle. That hmm. seems nuts to me. It costs a little more to get out, but then it's every turn. Yeah. Get an get another five one. Well, let's do it. That I wonder if they summon to the left or to the right. Question. Uh, to right. probably to the right because the the gargoyles don't have front line. Yeah. Strange looking man is crouching out of sight, grazing on some animals. Worshippers gather around a golden trimmed throne. Uh, which way do you want to go here? Uh, well, let's let's look at the false prophet. I think. Okay. Old man in a gilded robe approaches you. Give these people something to believe in, and I will give you my beetles, the man says. He's holding a small bowl and a knife. The blood in those veins has all I need for a quick miracle. He smiles. Lose. Well, we're down. Yeah. We're down to 15 life, and he wants to take 13 of it. But we'd get 23 beetles. That's more beetles than we got. That's I'm, true. I'm leaving. <laughs> Just for the record. I, I want to know what spiritual burden is and how scared of filling I'll, it I I'll should hover, be. Hover, hover over that. No, the, if you hovered over the bar, oh. it was... Draw one less... Oh, God. <laughs> Your spirit is burdened by proving gifts. Draw one less card on fight start. Light burden is fight without penalty. So this yellow burden, which we're about in the middle of, is draw one less card. Draw one less card. And then heavy burden is draw one less card on fight start and begin with one less mana. Dang. Okay. Uh, uh, prophetic blindfold plus forty to your current and max life. Start combat with a three-one raven. When it dies, summon a three-two raven, and then a final three-three raven. If the final raven dies, so do you. <laughs> so do you. <laughs> oh. Oh, that is. That is spicy. Uh, unless you I have a of... lot of frontline stuff, that is a recipe for disaster. <laughs> Not necessarily, because if it if it summons the three two to the right, right. Uh, so like it'll start on the field, and then when it dies, it goes to the right side the, as a three two. I'm I'm willing to test it if you want. I'm to. willing to test it. Oh, I think that's amazing. I, that makes me sad that we didn't just spend all of our life on on beetles, because <laughs> now the, that fifty five life is meaningless. <laughs> we have so much life. It's not meaningless. The, it's true. We can still take damage. And it's still not the first thing because we got the, the safety crab. Because we got the safety crab. Uh, it's going to open Piercing Gaze and Soothing Song on its first after its first turn. Uh, counterattack deal one. If this kills a creature, deal one as another counterattack. Ugh. Hmm. That's a little concerning. That is unpleasant. We have a lot of one health things. Uh, we do have the cannon fodder, which is nice. I'm almost wondering if I put in a tiny disciple then, because yeah. it's got two health. That's the, not a bad idea, honestly. Uh, do I attack with the crab? I mean, I got to or attack. Wait? Yeah, but we technically don't have to do anything yeah. yet. But, I mean, it's going to pick up two different attacks immediately. Let's see. One direct damage to me, and restore one health to self. Uh, I'm going to just start we just, summoning yeah. things. Uh, and then do we just go all out? It'll counter and kill all three of those. I feel like since he's healing, 
We just we wait to uh, to do a big attack, I guess. That's true. And he's not doing anything too. He's doing one damage yeah. to us for now. Now, granted, we don't know what Crescendo is going to do yet. Empower all other abilities, raising their effects by one. Well, so, so we we just have to start swinging, but we got a Leviathan. Ooh, ooh. So it'll <laughs> playing that will kill four of our dudes randomly. Randomly, um, but he also gets stat based on the health mm. and attack as creatures you've summoned this game. So we could, if we wanted to be super spicy, yeah, just drop like the crumbling gargoyle and the impling, or the swarm them. Sure. Like do the like do the swarm them swing in hard, and then next turn play the leviathan, who will be that much stronger. Here's my only concern with that: the leviathan will very likely kill the raven so then another raven comes out i don't want this raven to die beforehand because then this kills the second raven and then we're on our last raven and then with that raven goes we're done so so you'd rather the leviathan yeah. come out and kill the first raven yes i think so i think i'd okay, rather well, just so well so good good news bad news then right Yep. The good news is, if we don't swing with the Raven, Maestro has no way of killing our dudes. The only way that he can kill our stuff is with Perry. Yes, but he's also going to be killing us increasingly hard every turn and healing himself increasingly well, hard every turn. To be fair, Crescendo only uh, triggers every third turn. Yeah, but it's still... It is, it is, a, yeah, it is a ramp. I just meant uh, that if we don't swing with the Ravens, he can't kill the Ravens. So we can swing with uh, everything else. Yeah. It, if you if you're worried about the Leviathan eating the second Raven, we can make it so that the Raven never swings and then Maeve here can't kill our Raven. It it all depends on the wording of how this parry works. Oh, uh, that's true. Cuz it says deal one if this kills a creature, deal one as another counterattack. So if it's just like I'm going to kill this crab and then I'm going to do another one as a counterattack. Oh, that's on your Raven, by the way. <laughs> so do you think you just want to drop the Leviathan now? eat what's here and then be like whatever he's as big as we're going to need? Uh, essentially, yeah, because he'll have... Uh, I don't know if it'll count this crumbling guy on the right as something that I've summoned, because technically this guy mm -hmm. summoned it. But, so if we... I mean, even if not, he'll gain an extra, what, six health? Mm -hmm. uh, seven attack and six health. Okay. So he'll be uh, 15 14 with double strike. So he'll do 30 damage in one attack. And he'll take two damage back from the parries. And, and so, yeah, all right. Again. Yeah, then go for it. Bring out the Leviathan then. He <laughs> missed the Raven. <laughs> Beautiful. Huh. Sweet. And he's got charge, right? He sure does. You can just go forward. Uh, and I, I yeah. will preserve... Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah, preserve the raven. He'll do a ton of damage. He'll parry back for one. Um, uh, and then, uh, uh... Rally, you can attack again this turn. It's not letting me. Hmm. Oh, is Rally something else? Like, is Rally a specific thing we have to do? Um, well, it just says you can attack again this turn, so I don't know exactly how you would count that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, if you do the... Also, everything is now pumped up. Yeah. Uh, it did not take three turns. <laughs> I I think Crescendo took three turns to get in, into effect, but now that it's into effect, it's happening every turn. <laughs> Because the three symbols are still up there. I wonder if it was fully yeah. charged for the yeah. first time, and then now it'll take three more turns. But either way, it's not going to take yeah. us very long to finish this. That's true. Um, if we do the swarm them, is that the, is, that should be enough to just finish the fight? Uh, 
Because that'll give us four. That's 25 damage. Again, depending on how parry works. I know, but if I just mean if we swing with everything, he just dies. Yeah, well, I'm just saying, like, if the bird attacks and then he parries that, and then since it killed it, it, it can parry the next thing before it attacks. Like, it depends I, on, on orders of stuff. I, that's, I see what you're saying. But apparently all of the attacks go first, so it's fine. That Leviathan's pretty good, as it turns out. Yes. Well, I can just get a just standalone cannon fodder. Uh, this guy looks epic, though. Bound Fury, 4 mana, 7-7. Seven, seven. Give me minus 5, minus 5 this round. So then he gets bigger afterwards. Oh, but what's from the ashes? Dominate. Cards with Dominate randomly kill your own creatures before entering play. So we, we're right. aware, aware of that. Summon two Beast Tormentors. Beast Tormentors are three threes. Advance all enemy rage gauges by one. Ooh. That sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah, that's a, that's a little little spicy. I think I. Mount rather... Fury's not yeah. bad, but do we want that or do we want more cheap things? Uh, I don't mind things that cost 4 4 just because we start with the extra energy, so we, we're starting at 2, so it doesn't take us that that's long to get to 4. True. And then seven seven is pretty significant, especially because there's, yeah. there's I'm finding things with like the the counter attacks and having a lot of things with low health just mean that they just die very quickly. I mean it's fair. Look, I'm just thinking about trying to get as many small quick dudes on the field so that the Leviathan himself is so much stronger when we actually play him. Hey, Leviathan. That is a lot of things up and running already. Uh, swallow. Deal one. If this kills a creature, gain three life and increase stomach contents by one. It's going okay. to be killing a lot of things because it's going to immediately swallow these two things. I wish we had our little frontline dude. <laughs> uh, I mean, the frontline dude would have also got swallowed because he's got one health. It's a problem. Yes, but it would have protected the raven, which is the important bit. <laughs> yes, but the raven will come back as a three two, and there's. With two swallows, like one 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 health thing would not protect it for very long. It'd protect oh, it for wow. two seconds. Sometimes two seconds is what we need, but that's okay. Uh... Some contents is less than three. Deal eight. Um, uh, and then knuckle break counterattack. Deal two damage to all attackers. Ugh, this guy is awful. And then also there's stomach contents over here. Uh, decreases by one every other turn. Start of turn if st stomach contents is ten or more. It bursts and I die. If stomach contents is zero, I starve and I die. Oh, so actually, we actually want to fill the board with a lot of low cost thing, low health things. Okay, so at the end of this turn, he's going to go up to seven. Yep. Uh, and then, depending on how it counts, the every other turn might drop back yeah. down to six. But okay. if we just load this board up with one health things. He'll 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 burst his stomach very quickly. We don't even have to mm -hmm. swing at this guy. I'm not sure how much I like this plan because it's scary, but it's scary, but okay. So stomach contents did drop by one immediately. Uh, okay, and the bird is going to be taking a hit here. Uh, so you just gotta keep feeding him, I guess. Either keep feeding him, or just get things out on the field, so that we can get our angry Leviathan. Uh, As I can, we can swing at him. Well, no, because no, if we no. swing at him, we'll do the knuckle. He'll, yeah, and he'll things, things will things will die things. too quickly. Yeah. And this is already our second raven, which is yep. scary. Ooh, swarm them actually Ooh, is incredibly them. good. Perfect. Get down, Mr. President. And by Mr. President, I mean raven. Uh, okay, yeah, we're look. We're this guy's gonna be eating good. Yeah, just keep feeding him. So it drops a six, but then goes up to eight. eight. Um, uh, 
Uh, he's gonna go up to nine, which is a little sad. Um, there's there's an argument where we just go. Wing. Look, he ain't good for a while, but now we can just. Or, big brain play, we swing with our little friend in the middle there. Yeah. He'll die to the knuckle break. He will die. And then the two swallows will eat our two dudes. He'll stung on contents, goes to ten, and he explodes. Uh, well, not quite, because it'll it decreases by one. Oh, every other every turn. other turn. So it won't go. It won't go down this turn because it just went down. So it, oddly enough, letting him die to the knuckle break, I think, will end the fight for us. So we just do that. Mm -hmm. Because he should theoretically knuckle break just against him, and then we can okay. play just in just like in the case. Imp the, yeah, the yeah, impling I'll... and the bound fury. Yeah, sure. It's a little scary because he is eating yeah. our second raven. Yeah, but that's why we have the third raven. It's fine. And then he's at ten. Start of turn. Uh, at start of turn. Well, it's, I guess it's start of his turn. So we have to... Just end, end turn? Yeah, if we just end turn, it should be fine. Start of the beast's turn, he pops. Okay. Beautiful. I I like that <laughs> a lot, by the way. It, it's a cool system, but I was scared. I know. <laughs> uh, Lady of the Pact. Discard your lowest cost creature, and this gains its stats. That's interesting. that's interesting because if you play that and you just have like a seven seven in your hand, you're just like, goodbye seven seven. This is a one cost seven eight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, three cost three two with dominate one to summon. A Fear Guard Initiate, which is a 1-4 with Fearless 4-0. Fearless creatures gain more attack depending on the max life of the enemy. Interesting. And I'm going... It's ten, a 10%. So, like, for example, that enemy had 40 <laughs> health. So it gets plus 4 plus So zero. it gets plus 4. Okay. Yeah. And that's... The Eruptor Shot, by the way, is the same yeah. thing. 20% of the enemy's maximum life. Okay. Uh, I think I like the Lady of the Pact of these three. Yeah. I think she has the right. potential to be really cool. Ah, oh, oh. and that's the end of the demo. Nah, oh, man. But <laughs> we, we we stuffed that that plant monster full of friends. <laughs> we did. We we defeated it by feeding it. We defeated yeah. it. <laughs> defeated it. Yeah. Oh, well, that was neat. This is, yeah. This is a neat little game. Yeah, I, I I really like that. Just And I just like the I like the idea of alternative win condition type things in games like this. Oh, yes. Like, obviously, we could have... We had the deck that we could have just played things and beat down that boss. I mean, our Leviathan, if we had played him then, would have been, you know, 15-15, and then it's just a few turns of wailing on him. But I just like that there was another way to do it. Yeah. Just... Or if we just didn't have creatures, he also would have just starved to death. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, we had a very important creature. <laughs> yeah, that, that is very true. <laughs> so that's a little scary. But uh, yeah, very cool little game. It's got a demo out you can check out right now. Uh, let us know what you thought in the comments. And uh, I guess with that, we'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.